This instructional video is specifically for the standalone saltwater chlorine generator used in tandem with a separate filter pump. You will need the following items to set up your chlorine generator. A filter pump with a flow rate of at least 700 gallons per hour. A straight bit screwdriver if clamps are used. A GFCI type electrical outlet. Table salt, which can be purchased in quantity warehouse grocery stores. Refer to the salt table in the manual for the amount needed based on your pool size. You may also wish to purchase salt test strips from your pool store for salinity testing. Let's take a quick look at the key parts of the generator. The power supply converts AC power to low voltage DC current. The electrolytic cell produces chlorine as salt water passes between the enclosed titanium plates. The flow sensor protects the electrolytic cell by ensuring an adequate flow of water. The electronic control station has two buttons for programming the number of hours of running time and an LED readout panel for operating time and alarm code displays. Your Intex chlorine generator can be installed even if the pool is already filled with water, providing you have an Intex filter pump system. This section is for installation with one and a quarter inch hoses and hose clamps. If your pool is already filled with water, begin by unplugging the pump. Then, from inside the pool, unscrew the strainer grids from the connectors and insert the hat-like black plugs to stop the water flow while you work on the connections. Connect the short one and a half inch diameter hose to the inlet side of the chlorine generator marked with a water flow arrow. Locate the hose adapters A and B. Connect adapter A to the outlet end of the electrolytic cell and finger tighten securely. Now, clamp the water return hose to the adapter with a hose clamp. Connect adapter B to the short one and a half diameter hose and tighten securely. Now connect adapter B to the filter pump outlet connection. Make sure the hoses are securely attached to the pool. Remove the hat-like plugs so water can flow into the system. Follow the filter pump manual to release air trapped in the hoses. The Intex Model 12R pumps have air release valves on top. You are now ready to add salt to the pool. If your pool is equipped with threaded strainer connectors and valves, begin by unplugging the pump then close and lock both plunger valves. Disconnect the water return hose from the filter pump and connect it to the outlet end of the chlorine generator. Connect the one and a half inch short hose between the chlorine generator and the filter pump. Make sure all connections are secure. Now proceed to reopen the plunger valves. To prevent airlock, open the lower plunger valve first and then the upper valve. Make sure to follow the instructions in the manual to release trapped air in the hoses. The air release valve on this pump is on top of the filter tower. You are now ready to add salt to the water. Adding salt to the existing pool water creates an electrolyte which allows a chemical reaction creating chlorine when low voltage electricity is applied to the titanium plates in the electrolysis cell. You no longer have to buy chlorine from the store. Determine how much salt must be added to the water according to the table in the owner's manual. Before adding salt to the pool, make sure the chlorine generator is off. Turn on the filter pump to circulate the water. Spread the salt around the perimeter of the pool evenly. Brush the pool bottom to help dissolve the salt. Do not add salt through the skimmer since it may clog. Run the filter pump for 24 hours to make sure the salt is thoroughly dissolved. Use a salt test strip if you have any doubt about the salinity of your water. 
Connect the chlorine generator to a GFCI type outlet and turn the switch on at the back of the electronic control station. Code 88 will appear on the LED panel indicating standby mode. Lift the clear lid to program the unit. Press and hold the down button until a short beep is heard and release immediately. Then press and hold the up button until another short beep is heard. It is important to release the button immediately. Start over if the button beeps constantly. The LED will flash 00, zero indicating the control is unlocked. Now you are ready to set the timer. See the table in the manual for recommended hours of operation according to the size of your pool. Press the up button once for every hour desired and the down button to reduce the number of hours if needed. When the proper number of hours is shown on the LED panel, lock the control by pressing the down button until a long beep is heard. Then press and hold the up button until another long beep is heard. The control is now locked and the green chlorine light will come on in five minutes indicating chlorine is being generated. When the chlorine cycle finishes, the green LED will turn off and the sleep LED will turn on until the next cycle. The unit will show code 93 for one hour. Press either button to view the LED code if desired. Do not unplug the generator. It will automatically start chlorine generation again 24 hours later at the originally programmed time. If the power cord is accidentally unplugged, the system will have to be reset. Since your filter pump is a standalone unit, it is independently powered from the chlorine generator. You should turn off the filter pump after each chlorination cycle is complete, but if necessary, you can continue to run the pump after the cycle ends. Just make sure to turn the pump back on before the next chlorination cycle starts. Finally, as with any chlorination system, the right balance of pool chemistry is very important. The Intex three-way test strips provided with your generator will help you maintain the proper water balance. Use the test strip provided to determine if the chlorine level is within normal range before entering the pool. Notice that the water has a softer, pleasant feeling and the irritating effects of chlorine are absent. Now you can really enjoy your pool. Chlorine will stop being produced if low water flow, low salt, or high salt conditions are detected. An LED light will flash and a buzzer will sound for one hour. At that point, the unit will be shut down. Restart the unit following the operating procedures as mentioned before. After restart, an LED code will again flash to indicate the specific trouble. Refer to the instructions in the manual to correct the problem. The low flow LED light and code 90 indicates low or no water flow. The problem can be caused by loose connections, water flowing in the wrong direction, plugged or closed hose lines, or the filter pump not running. A code 91 indicates low salt. Refer to the manual for adding the proper amount of salt. Do not restart the generator until the newly added salt is thoroughly dissolved. A code 92 indicates a high salt level and can only be remedied by partially draining the pool and adding fresh water. You can use a salt test strip to help you determine how much the water must be diluted. If the red service light turns on, please contact the Intech Service Center. Your chlorine generator requires little maintenance since the electrolytic cell has a self-cleaning cycle. For maximum performance, it is recommended that the cell be opened and visually inspected every three months and cleaned if necessary. First, disconnect the unit, close the hose valves, and drain the water out of the hoses. Follow the instructions in the manual to disconnect the flow sensor and then remove the electrolytic cell. Screw the cell cover supplied with your generator onto the cell to close one end. Fill the cell with kitchen grade vinegar and let it soak for two or three hours before reassembly.
For product updates and to purchase Intex parts and accessories, please call 1-800-234-6839 for a retailer near you or visit us online at www.intexstore.com. Have fun and enjoy an entirely refreshing swimming experience brought to you by Intex, the leader in above-ground pools.